Well hello there, welcome back to my channel, this is Nidea J and in today's video I'm going to be rating my recent fragrance haul. Now I have some more fragrances to show you guys very soon but I wanted to revisit the fragrances that I hauled in my previous video since I've had some time to wear them, to, to you know play with the fragrance, to understand the fragrance and just to give you my thoughts about the fragrances themselves where I would wear them, the occasion, longevity, all of that good stuff. So I am going to be rating them out of 10 and sharing my opinions with you. So if you are interested in that, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Turn on your notification bell so you know when next I release a video. And please follow me on my other social media platforms. It's Medea J across the board. And if you follow me on TikTok, you'd have seen some of these fragrances already. I have been sharing like quick reviews about them or first impression about them. So definitely head over to my TikTok if you are a fragrance lover. And please make sure that you follow me on there as well. So let's jump right in to my thoughts because I did share quite a lot of fragrances in that fragrance haul so how many times can you say fragrances in a, in a video? we're gonna find out so the first fragrance we're going to be talking about is the Armani My Way Intense fragrance now I bought this in I believe this is the 50ml uh, bottle yeah this is the 50ml bottle just to remind you of what the notes are top notes are orange blossom and bitter orange the middle notes are tuberose, absolute Indian tuberose, base notes sandalwood from Caledonia, bourbon vanilla from Madagascar. Oh, such a beautiful fragrance. Off the bat, when you spray this for the first time, you get that blast of vanilla, that blast of the orange blossom, and then over time, the um, the orange blossom kind of just softens and you get a lot of the vanilla come through and you do get a lot of that tuberose as well and I've been loving identifying tuberose a lot in fragrances because uh, I have the Zara fragrance which is heavy with tuberose so that helps me know the smell of tuberose quite a bit but when you get like when you spray it for the first time and when it dries down it's a, a different smell which means that it's evolves it doesn't just stay one note as the orange blossom now i have worn this fragrance out a couple of times and there are two places i would wear this fragrance i'd wear it to bed to cuddle you know with the man because you smell really sweet and delectable and i would wear it out as an everyday scent i don't feel like it's overpowering or um or um obnoxious I feel like it's such a subtle and beautiful smell. The longevity of this is really good, especially on clothes. And it does have really good ciliage. Ciliage just means like when the wind blows, does it carry the scent? You know, do other people smell it in the room or smell it outside? And it does have that. My husband has complimented me a couple of times wearing this fragrance and he's not even been beside me like he's been on the other side of the room so he does smell it so for that I would rate this an 8 out of 10 I rate it an 8 out of 10 because I, I wish it had a longer lasting smell on the skin I feel like in a couple of hours maybe five hours it starts smelling like the skin as opposed to the vanilla and the sweetness that comes from this fragrance but for what it is, it's a beautiful fragrance. This is not signature scent worthy, so it's not as unique, but I do feel like it's a really good, intense, vanilla, very sweet smell. So 8 out of 10 for this one, definitely. And the bottle looks like a jewel top. Like I like the cover, so yeah. Next up, I've got the Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue Royale. This is the one with the black bottle. The top notes of this are liquor, raspberry, orange blossom, Sicilian bergamot. The middle notes are patchouli, olibanum, atlas cedar, um, cipro oil or naga, naga motha. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that properly. Base notes are suede, labdanum, amber wood and musk. And I'm just going to spray this a little bit. I haven't worn any fragrance today. Yeah. So when you first spray it, you do get a hit of that liquor. The liquor is quite strong and very intense. 
but then it softens out and you get a little bit of the fruitiness you get a little bit of the um orange blossom you got a little bit of the amber wood you've got a little bit of the musk and the suede the dry down of this is very beautiful i love the way it just transforms over the course of the day it doesn't stay the same throughout especially when you first spray it the first thing you smell is the liquor and then the liquor just kind of dissolves and you start getting a lot of the orange blossom the sweetness in it and then you start getting the amber wood you start getting the cedar it smells really really good even just from the bottle without having to spray it I can smell a lot of the scent. The longevity on this one is pretty good it smells really good on clothes like it lasts a lot longer and on the skin it's pretty good as I said it goes through an evolution so before you get the skin scent you've already got a good number of hours from this I would probably wear this um, to go out probably dinner with friends uh dinner with bae that kind of thing i would even wear it in intimate sessions you know if your partner likes you know that really strong woody woodsy type of scent then definitely this would be really good i do feel like it's a really good strong fragrance especially for the for the price that i paid for it it's so inexpensive and such a beautiful um, fragrance very long lasting I do recommend this I would actually give this a 9 out of 10 just because it lasts a lot longer on the skin and it's a very mature sophisticated scent for what it is so a 9 out of 10 affordable long lasting really good complex smell that evolves and it lasts a lot longer on the clothes and on the skin so yeah 9 out of 10 for this one this next fragrance surprised the hell out of me when I first smelled it in the haul video, I was like, I don't know about this. But then I took the time to wear it out. I've worn it out a good number of times over the course of the week. And it's the Kayali invite only. Like, I understand what people are, are talking about. I understand the hype of this fragrance. The top notes are sour cherry, tobacco leaf, honey, chocolate. Oh, yeah. The middle notes are cinnamon, may rose, damask rose, citrus leaf. The base notes are amber, agarwood, vanilla, um, nagar, mosa, um, benzoin, patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. Now, when you first spray this, the first thing that I got was liquor. I could smell a lot of the liquor. And I feel like it's a mixture of the tobacco leaf and maybe a little bit of the hazelnut that is in the top note. That's kind of like what opens it. But then over time, you get the amber, you get the oud. It comes through. It's very mature, very sophisticated. You get the sandalwood, you get the musk, and you get the vanilla. You get the sweetness in the vanilla. And that sweetness in the vanilla and the base notes kind of sticks to your skin and over time it starts getting sweet you know like the arabian scents that are very strong very overpowering when you spray them but then over time they kind of just smell sweet and yummy and delectable that's really what you get out of this one that's how i feel so the first time that i sprayed it i thought this is very strong and not in a good way but it just dries down really really nice i feel like the longevity on this one is moderate i feel like it's a lot longer on the clothes on the skin it ends up smelling like as i said vanilla the sweetness but on the clothes it's a good moderate um good moderate smell in terms of the ciliars like do people smell it around you they absolutely do like my husband has has commented a few times about this fragrance and it does carry out through the um you know through the air through the ether <laughs> people do smell it and i do like that for what it is um believe the hype around this one i feel this is really nice i have been combining it with a new kaali fragrance that i purchased with this which is vanilla and that has just emphasizes the vanilla in this fragrance and you get the vanilla at the very top now as opposed to just the dry down so if you do have this fragrance and you're not really sure about the you know the the entrance or the opening of the fragrance 
definitely mix it with the vanilla from Kayali and you really like the smell or even mix it with the elixir which I've also hauled but I'll show you guys in another video. I like those two combined. So for this fragrance because it surprised me I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. The packaging is beautiful. The fragrance, the complexity of it is beautiful. It is a moderate um, longevity, moderate silage, but for what it is, I definitely give it a 9 out of 10. It surprised me. This next fragrance disappointed me because it's a fragrance that I've always wanted in my collection. And you know what? Sometimes your spirit just tells you don't spend too much money. So I did get this in a 50 mil. So I don't feel too bad, however I expected a lot more. And this is the Black Opium Yves Saint Laurent. I know there are people that are going to slide in and say it's a fantastic smelling fragrance but hear me out, hear me out. So the top notes of this are pear, pink pepper, orange blossom, coffee, jasmine, bitter almond, licorice, vanilla, patchouli, cedar, cashmere wood. And um, sorry, those are the basins. I, I ran through that. So the top notes are pear, pink pepper, orange blossom. The middle notes are coffee, jasmine, bitter almond, licorice. And the base notes are vanilla, patchouli, cedar, and cashmere wood. Now, in terms of the longevity of this fragrance, I feel like you, you get three to four hours max. Like the few times. I've worn this a few times. I've worn this at least three times as my scent of the day. And I struggled smelling myself. I could not smell myself. And neither could people around me. And that's a problem for me. If that's not a problem for you, then that's fine. But that's a problem for me. I don't feel like this thing is long lasting. I feel like there's a lot of hype around this fragrance. And it's not living up to expectation. It's not giving what it needs to give. I feel like... For the price, I expect it to be um, a lot more complex in the smell. So really, when you smell it, the first things you get, you definitely get the you definitely get the spiciness. So you definitely get the pink pepper. You definitely get the vanilla. You definitely get the orange blossom. Orange blossom is is an ingredient that I really like in my fragrances. So you do get that. You get a little bit of the jasmine, like there's a little powderiness to it when it does dry down. Just a little bit. I'm asthmatic, so I really pick up on these things. But that's about it. For me, it doesn't evolve. Like the fragrance, once you spray it, the opening pretty much stays the same. I, maybe if it dries down, it'll dry down with the sweetness of the vanilla. But most of the time, for me... It just stays the same and I feel like it's not long lasting enough. After a couple of hours, I don't smell myself. And I don't smell it in my clothes and I don't smell it on my skin. However, the dupe for this fragrance, which is the Zara Gardenia. Yeah. It's not a 100% dupe, but... It's dupe enough. This one is long lasting. Now tell me how the Zara fragrance is long lasting. <laughs> this one I smell on myself maybe five hours, maybe yeah, four five hours. This one three to four hours if I'm lucky. Like if I really spray a lot of this, this one I don't have to go to town in terms of how much I use, and I still smell myself, and the people around me can smell me. So. For the price of this, compared to the price of this, I just feel really let down by this fragrance. I expected so much. I've been wanting to add this to my collection because so many people have hyped it so much that I thought that I'm missing out and I need to need to get it. I know there are other variations of it that I do want to try out, but I don't think I'll blind buy it. I think I'll definitely go in store and smell it, probably wear it for the day, and then see how I feel. But honestly, I like the smell. It's a good everyday smell. Good size to put in your bag to top up. It's not going to last you all day. And that's a problem for me because I did pay a pretty penny for the 50 mil. So that's how I feel. If you can't afford the black opium, get the Zara Gardenia. This baby is gorgeous. It smells beautiful. And it's just so similar to the black, um, black opium. So yeah.
I'll leave that there. Oh yeah, so if I was gonna rate this, I would rate it a 5 out of 10. And I'm only giving it a 5 because you do get the sweetness, you do get the orange blossom, you do get the vanilla. And the packaging is super beautiful, super sexy, luxurious, you know, date night worthy. That's kind of where I'd wear it, date night, intimate, to bed, sexy time type of thing. So it's given all of that, it's just not lasting long enough and not complex. So yeah. <laughs> Next up, these two fragrances surprised me and grew on me. So I had to wear this a couple of times, the two of them to just understand the complexity of the smell and appreciate it for what it is and it is the YSL Libre and Libre Intense so let's go with Libre Intense first so the top notes of this are lavender mandarin bergamot lavender uh, middle notes are lavender again uh tunisian orange blossom jasmine orchid and the base notes are madagascar vanilla tonka bean ambergris and vitivir okay so when you spray this in the video i did say that it smells like soap i still feel like it smells like soap i feel like the soap that i'm smelling is the freshness and i believe that's coming from the lavender and the reason is because i do have a uh, bath soap that smells so similar and that is heavy with lavender in it. So I feel like the jasmine and the lavender is giving it that soapy, powdery smell. And you do get the mandarin orange coming through. You do get the orange blossom. You do get the Madagascar vanilla. However, the Madagascar vanilla comes through at the dry down. One thing I do want to say with the intense is uh, what it has over the original is these smells are stronger. So you do get them whew, off the bat and you don't have to search for them. In terms of longevity, this guy, it surprised the hell out of me. Like I can still smell it in my jumper. Like I sprayed it on some of my coats and I can still smell it. I smelt it on myself for a really long time. Like I was sniffing myself. And the silage is so strong. The people around me could smell it. And I loved it. I got so many compliments. People saying that I smell really fresh, really youthful with this smell. And I appreciate that. Like when, when people give me compliments like that, it makes me really, really happy. I don't feel like this is a good blind buy. I feel like you do need to go and smell this fragrance because as I said, it grew on me. And that's because I gave it time. If you just smelt it in the store, you would probably put it down because you think it just smells like soap but in the dry down it smells really sophisticated and you do get the sweetness come through and it's just really earthy really fresh i don't know how to describe it but that's kind of what you get over the course of the day so it does evolve which is what i always appreciate in a fragrance I don't like it being one note. I like it to evolve over time. And you do get it in this one. You can see I've put a little bit of a dent in this fragrance already because I was using it really heavily just to see what I could get out of it. So if I was to rate this one, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10, no scratch that. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10 because it's not a blind buy um it's a really beautiful scent it is long lasting the ciliage is very good the packaging is gorgeous the juice in it is gorgeous but i can't give it a 10 out of 10 because it didn't blow my mind from first impression from first impression it just smelled like soap but over time it's grown on me so that's why i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. now the libre itself the original this one, you get the mandarin orange first. Like, you get that once you smell this fragrance. And I do like it. But similar to the Intense, I feel like the longevity is there. I feel like the ciliage is there. Um, if you are not really smelling both fragrances, you almost can't tell the difference. The only thing, as I said, is the smells in this one, I feel like they're more intense. Like, you've got more ingredients in there. And this one is a little subtle, just a little bit. But in terms of smelling the two of them, they really smell similar. So I would say you could go for either or. Definitely give it a smell first and see how you feel. 
So for this one, because the, the smell isn't as strong in the opening and you don't get all of the ingredients at once, similar to how you get this one, I would probably give this an 8 out of 10. Um, because obviously the packaging is still gorgeous and it's still long lasting, the silage is still there. It's a beautiful fragrance. It grew on me and I'm so surprised that I'm actually in love with these two. So yeah, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10. Now this next fragrance is Sexy in a Bottle. Like this is literally Sexy in a Bottle. And this is the um, Al Haraman Laventure Femme. So this is what it looks like, fingerprints and all. And in the opening, so the top note, oh God, it's so beautiful. The top notes of this are pineapple, blackcurrant, wild berries, bergamot. The middle notes are cedar, frasier, rose, um, base notes are musk, amberwood, sandalwood, and vanilla. At the very top, you get the fruitness. It comes through. You get the pineapple, you get the wild berries. You get a little bit of that dustiness, like that powderiness, not dustiness, that powderiness in the rose. That definitely comes through at the back. And then you get the musk. The dry down of this one is so sweet and so beautiful. But you know what makes this fragrance, this fra this bad bitch fragrance, is the longevity. This thing is so long. When you spray it on clothes, girl, it's still there a week later. This is an this is a signature scent worthy fragrance for sure. I feel like this is a fragrance that I will continue to have in my collection as long as I continue to produce it because it is so fruity, so fruity flowery, but not overpowering. Like the fruitiness and the floweriness of it, they're not fighting. They're working so well, and it just evolves over time and again longevity is there the ciliage is there people smell it around me i smell myself and i actually feel like guys could wear this fragrance because as i said the fruitiness and the floral nature of the fragrance is so well balanced that it isn't leaning on one side so i do feel like guys could wear this but obviously i'll say it's more of a female scent but i do feel like guys can wear this I would definitely give this one a 10 out of 10. This to me is my most worn. Like you can already see where, I don't know if you can see that, but that's where it is. Because I've sprayed this fragrance so much. Not only is it a beautiful standalone fragrance, but it works so well with so many other lackluster fragrances that are either fruity heavy or floral heavy. It just helps to enhance that smell. So I really like this. I love the packaging. It's like I'm here, I'm bold, I'm right now. Plus, it's so inexpensive. So, all the links will be in the description box, you guys. There will be affiliate links. So, please do use the links if you do shop these fragrances. I do get a commission, no extra cost to you. It just really helps my channel. And I found this on the low low. So, definitely check it out. I feel like this is a signature scent worthy fragrance for sure. 10 out of 10. You know when they say you're saving the best for last? I did save the best for last in this video. And this is the Swiss Arabian Shagaf Oud. Uh, I'm sure you are fed up of seeing this fragrance online. Let me remind you of the top notes. The top notes of this are saffron. Middle notes are agarwood oud. That oud is strong baby. Rose. Uh, base notes are agarwood, oud, praline, and vanilla. Praline is so sweet. The vanilla is so sweet. You do get that um, that powderiness from the rose and the saffron. But when this dries down, you smell delectable. You smell delicious. You smell beautiful. Everything and anything you can think about for this fragrance is right there. So it's for me, the oud is done right. Like you get that earthiness, but it doesn't overpower the sweetness because when it dries down, it dries down to a really sweet scent. And this thing lasts so long on clothes. I have had this on my other jumper for a long time now and my son can still smell it. It's like a week old and I can still smell it in there. This is a really, really long-lasting fragrance. And I feel like the ciliage on this is, woo, 
everyone around you can wear it so please pick your moments when you wear this i feel like this is a bad b entrance level type of fragrance i wouldn't wear this to like the gym grocery shopping or anything like that i'd wear it for like that board meeting like if i want to impress or if i'm on if i'm outside with a group of people i definitely want to wear a fragrance like this with the way it smells i feel like a guy could wear this fragrance as well because of the nature of the composition you get a lot of the earthiness for the first couple of hours and as i said it just dries down to a sweet smell i feel like this is really good great value for money it is so affordable you wouldn't believe for what you get it's amazing this one packaging the way it dries down the smell definitely a 10 out of 10 for me i am so in love with this and I have to pull myself back from using it every day because I like to smell myself. I work from home and I just like to smell myself. I like to be engulfed in my own smell. <laughs> so I have to hold myself back from using this every day. And that is it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you tried any of these fragrances? Are you tempted to try any of them? As I said, all the links will be in the description box below. So please go ahead and use the links if you do want to shop these fragrances. And let me know your favorite or let me know what's your latest fragrance in your collection in the description box. You know I'm always on the lookout for more fragrances, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you, much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Turn on that notification bell so you know when next I release a video. Remember, God doesn't like ugly. Be nice to someone today and black lives will always matter. And I'll catch you in a future video. Bye. <laughs>